the primary objective of the fund is to ensure that its members receive an optimal benefit at retirement after 30 to 40 years of saving. However, retirement as we know it has changed from a dated um, target in your 60s or 70s with maybe a retirement home, a few extra shillings to spend, retirement is now defined as a time of financial freedom, a time of exploration and a new phase of life to venture and dream, to live. The first half of 2018 boasted strong double-digit returns with market recovery providing investors with much needed reprieve. The second half of 2018 exhibited stock market losses of over 30% and static bond markets. Conversely, 2019 in the first four months has gained momentum and the outlook for 2019 is cautiously optimistic. Referencing the last 18 months, shorter term market movements are not a clear predictor of long term investment performance. The Board of Trustees, advisors, investment managers and the sponsor have undertaken a fundamental review of the fund's investment strategy in view of evolving markets and risk return trade-offs. Which industries this fund is um drawing its employers from, you'll see that the biggest industry um, is this one here, which is basically services. Um, given the way GDP grows in this country, one would have expected agriculture, which is somewhere down here, to be the biggest one. Um, however, agriculture is only about um, 10 employers out of the uh, 197, which means um, there's quite a lot that we need to do to make sure that uh, the biggest uh, segment of the economy is actually represented in our fund. Uh, now, moving on to uh, the asset sizes, um, in 2014 we had an asset size of about 15 billion. Uh, now we have an asset size of about 28 billion. That's over six years. Um, actually, the plan was to double it over a five year period, um, but we hope that by the end of 2019 the size of the fund uh, will basically be about 30 billion. Now, sort of the, the sort of things that Fred Gitug was talking about yes, you've got your fund doubling every five or six years, but is the amount of money that a member lives with also doubling um, every five uh, or six years. That's really the challenge for the trustees. So yes, the number, the fund can continue growing, but we must make sure that the returns we earn are actually quite good and they give our members uh, a decent return uh, when they leave. Now, what are the objectives of this fund? What are we uh, trying to aim for? Uh, we are basically trying to provide uh, our members, uh, me included, I'm a member of the fund, um, with a decent uh, benefit at the time uh, when we come to retire. Um, in the unfortunate event that we die um, in service, um, we are also, um, um, the, the fund is also aiming to provide a good benefit um, for uh, the dependents. Now, around this one, I think I must mention that we did an analysis on the kind of benefits that people die, uh, people, people get when uh, the member dies, and we found out that for the employers who have a group life benefit through the fund, the amount of money that was going to the dependents was many times more than those who uh, were not having a group life through here. So one of the things that we'll be doing is we'll be coming back to you uh, with some statistics to demonstrate that it's useful for you to actually take a group life um, arrangement for your, uh, your members and your employees so that in the unfortunate event somebody passes on, uh, the benefit that comes out of it uh, will actually be much higher.